Hello everyone, my name is Sean Moore. I'm a principal cloud network architect on the North America Shared Security and Network Services team. Today, we'll show a demo on OCI private endpoints. A private endpoint is a private IP address within your VCN that you can use to access a given service within Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, such as an autonomous database. This demo example will show just that, a private endpoint that's attached to an autonomous database. First, we'll deploy a new autonomous data warehouse with the private endpoint and the private subnet labeled private endpoint subnet. We'll then test service access and database connectivity to the ADW from our asset server located in the asset subnet. Let's start by going to our top left hamburger menu down to Oracle Database, then Autonomous Database. Create Autonomous Database. Okay, let's provide a display name. Followed by a database name. Then we'll scroll down, we'll keep Data Warehouse and we'll share infrastructure. We'll go down some more and we'll enter in our credentials. Scroll down, there's three types of network access. Secure access from everywhere, secure access from allowed IPs and VCNs only, but what we want is private endpoint access only. So we'll select the VCN and subnet for our private endpoint. Private endpoint subnet. We'll scroll down to our license options and we'll go with license included. Now let's create our database. From our asset server, we'll connect to our database. So let's go to database actions and notice the message regarding private IP address only to reach this database. So using the URL at the bottom there, let's copy that, throw that in a new tab and attempt to connect. Okay, the page is just loading. And the reason why is that we need to create an access rule to allow access. So let's go back and go to our security list that's attached to the subnet. So top left hamburger menu, down to networking, virtual cloud networks. Let's pick our VCN. And let's drill down into the subnet itself. So private endpoint subnet. Here's our security list. Let's add an ingress rule. So I'm going to allow the entire asset subnet. And for this demo, we'll go ahead and allow all protocols. And we'll put a short description here. Add ingress rules. Okay, let's test this out again. We'll go up to our tab. And notice before I can even hit refresh, the page now loads for us, so perfect. Let's try one more test from Oracle SQL Developer. Let's add a connection by going to the plus symbol. Giving ourselves a descriptive name for the connection. Throw in a username, a password, and I'm going to connect using a wallet that was pre-downloaded. So let's connect using that. Let's browse, there's my wallet. And for this connection, we could just go with low. Okay, let's test access. 
Great. See the success to the left there? And let's connect to our database. All right, we're connected. To recap, we created a new autonomous data warehouse along with a private endpoint. We then verify connectivity to the database from the private OCI network using our asset server. To learn more about private endpoints, please visit our website at oci.com.